well, that escalated quickly. Just a few days back, I told you about my journey regarding my daily driver. But things have changed again. Hi, this is Karsten with OpenTech and while you are here, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to hit the notification bell since it helps. And now let me tell you about what happened in the past week and why I had to change my daily driver again. The situation was as follows. I installed Ubuntu and I liked how smooth and effortless everything went. Unless it did not anymore. The reason is probably not with Ubuntu. It's more like with my general setup. As you remember, I virtualize everything. So my daily driver is a virtual machine in a Proxmox cluster with some devices passed through into the virtual machine. That works awesome with the graphics card, but it did not work that well with the USB devices. So I figured I switched from PCI pass-through for the USB controllers to passing through the USB devices directly. But Ubuntu did not like that. So I got a totally distorted sound again. And I was unable to fix that due to the lack of good documentation with Ubuntu. The whole system became slow and unreliable again. So I figured let's get rid of Ubuntu and let's get back a bit more into our comfort zone. I got Nobara recommended for a daily driver by a viewer. It is basically Fedora, but without the Red Hat influence and with graphics drivers already installed. So I thought, give it a go and see what happens. In short, it did not perform and it behaved similar to Fedora. I don't think this is Nobara's fault per se. I just feel it has to do with my environment. So no Nobara as my daily driver, but I will definitely try it out on my ThinkPad in the future. Yes, Arch, obviously. I don't care about my yesterday's words. I love Arch. I always loved it. And I just like the community and all the documentation associated with it. But I don't know what they fixed over the past months. Arch install, which is the simplest way of installing Arch Linux, reliably broke on my devices. And I had no time for a proper installation. Man, I want Arch. A colleague of mine recommended me Endeavor OS as a simple and easy to install alternative. So I downloaded it, installed it, tried it, disliked it, something broke and no, Endeavor is not my way forward with a daily driver. Garuda Linux, which is another Arch spin, was recommended to me by a viewer who told me about him running Vanilla Gnome with Garuda. So I figured give it a go and I gave it a go. I do not really like the terminal settings with Garuda and I do not really like the UI. But for a terminal, I anyhow use Terminator and I can easily adjust the UI to my liking. Some additions to Garuda are pretty nice, like the post install wizard, which allowed me to install most of the software I use on a daily basis without any hassle. So I really like that. The new driver therefore is Garuda. To my surprise, to be honest, since I did not use any Arch based distro apart from Arch itself, obviously for the past four years, but it works. I can adjust it the way I like it. I have my yay for package management. My software works. OBS is not giving me any headaches at the moment. So yeah, I'm happy for now. And I for now stay on Garuda and I just pretend it would be plain Arch. And what about you? Did you expect this to happen so fast? And did you expect a twist with Garuda? Let me know in the comments below. And while you are there, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to hit the notification bell since it helps. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao. Ouch, baby. Yes.